YouTube, what's going on? It's professional Madden player T. Davis, and welcome to another free mini scheme here on the YouTube channel. We're breaking down 32 NFL team playbooks, going over the five best money plays in each playbook. I think you guys are going to really enjoy today's video. It's going to help you guys improve a lot when it comes to getting better at competitive Madden. Make sure you guys subscribe here to the channel on YouTube for the best pro player tips, gameplays, ebooks, and much more. Check out my coaching sessions down below as well. We have 30 minute and 60 minute sessions if you want to improve as a Madden player. I also have a defensive ebook available, my multiple playbook defensive ebook. We have 80 minutes worth of run scheme, defensive scheme, how to build a scheme in general. Uh, we have some great blitzes in the ebook as well, so definitely check that stuff out. I stream on Twitch as well. You can check out all my social medias, all my links in the description below. Definitely check all that stuff out in the links in the description below. That's it for the intro, guys. Let's get into today's video. YouTube, what's going on? Your boy T. Davis back, and we're breaking down the New York Giants offensive playbook. Of course, we're here staying with the channel. We're going to the 32 best money plays we're going through the best five best money plays in 32 team playbooks today. We're on to the New York Giants. So we're almost done with all 32 teams. It's been a grind, but it's been fun. Hope you guys have enjoyed these videos. We're looking at the Giants today. First formation we're going to break down. We're going to keep it balanced. We're going to go over some runs and some passes out of the playbook. Not one of my favorite playbooks in the game, but it has some pretty effective stuff. So single back wing first. We're going to look at TE attack. Um, you can run this play pretty much versus any coverage in the game. Now, you can do a couple different things here. First setup I like to do is just either put square on a drag or a slant. Either one, I'll probably put them on a drag. If it's zone, I like them on the drag. If it's man, I like them on a slant. Our money route, though, is going to be Evan Ingram with that quick post uh, over the middle. Also have R1's post is not bad as well. We have a high-low read with the drag and the post. This time, we just check it down to the drag underneath. Take our completion. Um, looks like we're going to have man coverage here. This time we're going to have Evan Ingram wide open on that post. That's why that little sharp post is so good because it absolutely destroys man coverage. Super, super effective. Um, this, versus this, we would probably run the ball versus a set like this, but this time we're going to check it down again. You see wide open over the middle with the high-low read to the drag of the TE attack. Now, the other setup I want to break down is the running back on a wheel. Then I like to put circle on a little baby out route just like this. And you're going to have that halfback wheel uh, as he cuts up with a low pass, or you're going to have the tight end post. So it's kind of a two-man game. Forces the defense to guard one, so you can throw that in there in that little pocket. One of my favorite row combos in the game, so we're able to check it down, throw it in there. One more time here. Might have man coverage, so let's see if we can hit Evan Ingram. Nope, we have zone again, so we'll check it down once again on that cut right up the field. Sometimes, too, if they do blitz or they don't have any you know hard flats out there, we can throw it quickly to circle on that little baby out route um, like that. So you can, you can do that a lot as well if they start to blitz you or don't have anything, uh, you know, underneath to guard that. See, this time we have man coverage, so we're going to have Evan Ingram. Oh, he was wide open, but uh, Khalil Mack came off the edge versus us right there. So we'll do a head, go ahead and run it one more time. Looks like we have man coverage again. We should have Evan Ingram, and we do, but Daniel Jones just completely misses the throw. Now, the other thing I want to break down is you can create a nice little mini scheme out of this because you can audible over to the stretch alert, especially if you have the numbers here to the strong side, which we do. We're able to hand it off to Barkley on that little stretch. You can go to the little, the little stretch dive. You also, they also have a halfback dive. If you see a set like this, I would definitely run the halfback dive right up the middle, pick up four or five yards. So you can stay balanced. And the other thing, too, is you can also audible over to the single back wing flex. And I love this formation, too, because it's very rare where it has, you know, two, uh, it has a stretch and a dive out of it. And you can flip this stretch to the left or the right, which makes it so valuable. So you can create a nice little run scheme here that you see as we get loose with Saquon. So you can go to the wing flex. Um, they also have some decent pass plays out of that. So you can create a nice little scheme here out of the single back wing and wing flex formations. All right, guys, next formation we're going to look at is I form H slot. And if you guys have been following the pro circuit, you know, the competitive tournaments on Twitch, on YouTube, you know that a lot of pros are running this I form H slot formation strictly because of the, you know, the dive alert bubble, the stretch alert bubble. But the thing about this playbook is it has a stretch that isn't an RPO. So you can flick this stretch to the left or to the right, which makes it so good. So we're going to go ahead and run it. And you, like I said, look, you can flick it to the left if you wanted to to go to the twin tight end side or the twin receiver side, or you can stay to the right side, just depending on the numbers on where you see. That's what makes this stretch so damn good. We're able to take it either side depending on what we see. Um, and that's why it's so good because you can flick it to the left or the right depending on where you have the numbers. Like I said, this time we're going to keep it to the right. Can't get to the outside there. They had good containment. But this stretch is very effective. So say they stack to the right side there. This time I'll probably take it to the twin receiver side. See if we can get it on the edge, follow our fullback, cut it back with Saquon, get about four or five yards right there. Then 
Um, we'll do it one more time here. What do we have? Oh, it looks like this This is the time you'd go down to the dive. So the dive alert bubble, I would hand this off, check it down, pick up three yards up the middle. Now, a lot of times, too, with that dive alert, you can throw it out to the bubble um, to the outside. This time, we'll take the dive again. This time, we're going to get a big chunk play out of it. So depending on the defense that you see where the line is stacked, you can either run the dive or the stretch to the left to the right. This time, we'll go ahead and run up the middle one more time. I want to see if I can get it to that... Uh, to that uh, alert out there on the left but I'm waiting for the guy to kind of back off him this time backs off him a little bit we're able to get up there but it was man covered so the safety came down so not the best decision but we're still able to pick up positive yardage this time they're in quarter three deep obviously I'm going to run the dive up the middle so you're reading the defense really before you decide which run you want to go and which direction and then you respond accordingly so um, one more time here this time we'll hand it off so yeah, you have two options on the dive. The, you can throw the bubble or the run it up the middle and then the stretch. Also two options where you can run it to the left or the right. This time we'll take it to the left. We should have a big chunk play. We do. Maybe you can make a move. So that's the second play in this five play money scheme. Let's get into the third one. All right, guys. Third play in the money scheme is going to be PA crossers out of the gun trips tight end offset formation. This formation is very effective because it has an RPO alert bubble, has level sale, which is really effective inside zone, of course. Tight end in, which is a great red zone play. I love flood is good. And then, of course, the RPO trap alert bubble, which might be one of the best runs in the entire game. So make sure you guys utilize that. Of course, the slip screen. I love to mix in versus the blitz. So make sure you can make a nice little main scheme out of this. But of course, your money play is the PA crossers play couple different setups you can do first one is just simple put your tight end on a delay fade gonna go ahead hike it kind of roll out right if you can we're gonna hit the crosser to circle there let's see if daniel jones can make the throw he's really bad so he can't but you can either throw that if you have a mobile quarterback and throw on the run if you have rogers he has gunsling you can throw on the run or you can kind of set your feet and get out there if you want this time we have slayton burning his man coverage but daniel jones just can't get the ball out there and then so if you're looking for that crosser right that's the initial read but also you can kind of throw, you can release this tight end delay route, but this time we have the crosser should open wide open there. Oh, Daniel Jones is, I'm so used to gunslinger, guys. <clears throat> so make sure if, you use, if you're in mutt, you better have gunslinger out of your quarterback because it makes everything way easier. This time we should get in there. Finally, Daniel Jones makes the throw, but he doesn't make the throw again. He is so bad. That's what you get with a 72 overall quarterback. I mean, this is crazy. If he doesn't complete this one, then we got issues. There it is. Wide open, toast the man-to-man -man coverage. So, yeah, you guys know the crossing road. Absolute money, of course. But, like, I want to try to hit this tight end delay fade now. So, if you roll out, then you can release him like that. Then we got Evan Ingram, and the defense never expects it. So, I broke down that route on my channel as well in a video. The tight end delay fade, one of the best routes in the game. So, that's what we're looking for. But then the second route combo I like to do is streak my tight end, and I will put triangle on a drag. So, I'm going to have a high-low read here, kind of a flood to the right side. Um, depending on where the defense plays, we're going to be able to hit the right one. This time it's man coverage. The crossing route's going to win that all day long. But a lot of times now, if they start to play that crossing route, play back on that, we can hit underneath to the drag route. This time, once again, it's man, so I'm going to... Oh, I got hit. I was going to throw the uh, crossing route. is toasting his man. Obviously have some good route runners out there as well. Make this even better. See, this time the drag beats his man, so we check it down. Golden Tate turn that drag into about a 15 yard play so it's really a simple two-man game here with the drag or the crossing route combo this time looks like a little bit of a blitz we have either one we'll check it down to the drag but we had the crosser behind him as well plus so a second setup for this and then finally one other one i like to do is put tight end on a streak and i will motion over golden tate here on a slant route low ball slant route is very effective when they're in motion if it is man the motion man will beat man but if it's zone like that you can just check throw it over the middle to the tight end uh, streak with the pass lead inside look like it was covered too so we're, we're able to take advantage there but let's go ahead and motion over the slant again now and let's see if we can get into one of these it's like we have man coverage so as you see there we have the slant across the middle they had a little glitchy uh three wreck look like right there i wasn't expecting that but see how he beats his man and we'll do it one more time here. It's just a two-man game, slant or the crosser. And it looks like we have zone again here. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Evan Ingram. To cover two, you just throw that, that uh, seam streak to the tight end, one of our favorite things we love to do. All right, last time here, motion over Tate on the slant. So it's a two-man game with the slant or the crosser. And this time we're going to hit the crosser. We had either one. Both beat their man, but we're able to throw it to the crosser. Let's jump into the fourth play. All right, guys, fourth money play. Of course, we're going to go to Gun Bunch. Why wouldn't we Gun Bunch the best formation in the game year in and year out? You know, we got some money plays like Z-Spot and Go. 
We got Bunch Trail, we got 518 Hook, we got Flood, Verticals, the Slip Screen. But the play I want to look at is Speed Dig. This plays absolute money, and I like to have my best route runner in the slot. So I'm going to go ahead and put Shepard there. Um, and then that the Giants obviously aren't the best for receivers, but it's going to be okay. Speed Dig, let's come out in a random play. A couple different things we can do out of this. First, I like to just max protect and then put my tight end on a drag route like this. Um, so you're gonna, so it's gonna be a flood to the left side here. Um, we're gonna have the high low with the drag comeback. Whether they play hard flats, claw flats, you also have that deep crosser over the middle, and of course we have uh, that nice little dig route, um, which is really nice uh, as the backside kind of last read resort. This time we have the crossing route beating his man. Daniel Jones fires in there. He actually threw a good throw on that one, so I was impressed. So that's the first setup right there, like this is that um, let's go ahead and run it again this time we have man coverage see if Slayton can win that dig he does possession catch those digs every time it's going to roast man to man coverage you always want to make that diving catch type of animation this time looks like we have a pretty much covered everything right there that was they had like a inverted uh, hard, hard flat cloud flat to the comeback side route so that was pretty actually great defense by the computer right there Let's go ahead this time we check it down to the drag so they play back on the comeback we're able to check it down to the drag underneath simple stuff here just a flood to the left side this time it's man coverage again let's try to throw that dig route in there we do to slate now if it's zone another thing i like to do here is uh put the tight end on a flat and drag the solo side receiver like this so it's kind of like a mesh concept here and we're going to be able to throw that in there to the drag we got hit as we throw but a lot of times, too, you can hit that tight end flat initially right on uh, when he releases, if it is zone, you know, if they're playing back. Some, just exactly like that. You're able to check it down to the little flat. So I mix in between the drag and the flat from the tight end out of this play. But, of course, our money routes are the crossing route and that back, and that dig route on the bunch side. So one more time with this setup here. We're going to have a high-low with the dig and this drag. We check it down to the drag for a nice little play out of the mesh concept we turned it into. So let's jump into the fifth and final play out of the New York Giants money scheme. All right, guys, now we're in the gun trips Y-flex formation. This play actually has some nice plays out of it. You know, it has plays like curls, which is really effective with that sharp post over the middle. Then you have the curl-flat combos. Slot to buck is good, high-low dig. Obviously, this, play, this formation would be even better if you have a route chem ability or a hot route master, you can make a lot of different things better. But PA switch dig is good. Strong flood. Uh, wide receiver smash, of course, four verticals. But the play I want to look at is slot fork. And this play is very effective here. Now, to make this even better, I like to actually use motion on this. So I will go ahead and smart route R1, just like that. And I like to motion him to the right side here. All right, and I'll put the running back on a wheel. And this little baby route to Ingram is good as well. You can kind of throw that quickly uh, especially if it's man coverage if they're not playing hard flats you can throw that quick little out route to Ingram it's a real short out route makes it very difficult it's really good versus the blitz as well we like to motion over this route to create that quick little post with motion too so if it's man coverage we're able to throw that quickly like that Daniel Jones horrible throw but um, if it's man coverage that route and you have a good route runner there it's going to torch it every time all these routes on the play will beat man. Um, it's nice. It can beat zone as well. So this time we have the post again there, but we get his. We throw. We had the skinny post for a touchdown as well. Um, so and then you know, if, well, well, if we see something like this, we're just gonna run inside zone. I'm just not even gonna. I'm not gonna play. I hate when they when you do random plays and they come out in quarter three deep like that. It makes no sense. So let's go ahead and run it. Motion over this post again. What do we see? Looks like this time we're going to have the post. Once it clears that defender, you see we throw it in there. Nice throw by Daniel Jones. So that's what's so good about it. It's going to get behind most zones, and it's going to be able to beat man-to-man -man on the motion as well. So let's go ahead and motion him over again. Might have man coverage again here. Yes, we do. We're able to throw it in there. Beats his man, Golden Tate, again. So sometimes, you, And then if it's cover two, you have the skinny post. Also, you have our backside dig as kind of our last resort. So I'll go ahead and run it one more time there. BC circle, it's kind of like that deep post dig route, weird route that kind of can be our last resort type of route. But that post, the, we had the post and we had the dig route there, both getting wide open versus man coverage. So this play, absolute money. And, of course, you can audible around, mix it in up some other plays out of this formation as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed this five-play money scheme out of the New York Giants playbook. We're almost done with all 32 team playbooks. So if you want to see your specific playbook, check the channel. I've broken down pretty much every playbook at this point. So check out the five best money plays in every single playbook in Madden 21. Make sure to like this video. Comment down below your thoughts. Which one has been your favorite scheme out of all 32? And subscribe to the channel here on YouTube. I appreciate you guys. Until next time, your boy T. Davis is out.